So the chapter 6, okay? Chapter 6, <coughs> numerical integrations. So we use the integration actually to find the area or volume below below a curve or bounded by several curves. I mean the idea okay actually the idea of integration okay initially is used to find area below okay the okay, one curve or several curve or volume below okay the same thing below a curve or bounded by several curve. Okay. You have the I mean the integrations, huh? Integrate fx dx. Okay, the initial idea this is actually equal to the area. Okay, let's say you have your curve. Maybe this is a okay. Uh, y equal fx. So integrate from a to b. Let's say show you this is only below one curve. Huh? Y equal to fx. So okay, bounded where the x is bounded, okay, from a up to b. This is x, this is y. So when you learn, okay, integration, okay, <coughs> roughly, okay, first thing, you'll, okay, will teach you the application is actually below, uh, the area below, either one curve or several curve, or in the, I think the multivariable, okay, calculus, can, the integral <coughs> can represent the volume also. We have double integral, triple, and so on. And then, okay, if the integral here, we cannot integrate directly, directly, so we need the numerical integral. We have, okay, um, trapezoidal rule, Simpson 1 third, Simpson 3 over 8, Gauss quadrature, we have 2 point and 3 point, okay. These are few numerical methods used to approximate the Okay, the integral, to approximate the integral, if we cannot integrate it directly. Okay, numerical method, you can only approximate definite integral. Meaning you must have an upper limit up to lower limit. Okay, it's used to okay, approximate definite integral. Without limit, we cannot use the numerical methods. So, okay, let's say, okay, this is a curve, okay, y equal to fx. And then you do the numerical integration. It's actually, the idea is from the summation of the, okay, the area below the curve here. And then numerical method is actually when we cannot, okay, integrate directly. Or we have a numeric, only a table, okay, I mean, uh, maybe you have a, okay, let's see. The x, y data, let's say x, 0, 1, 2, and then what is a y, 2, 5, 7. Uh, and then you want to integrate the y dx, let's say x from 0 to 2. Sometimes you have only okay, numerical value of x and y. You want to integrate the y respect, y is actually equal to fx. Huh? So you want to inter do the integrations, then in this case, you can only use the numerical integrations. Okay. And then, um, trapezoidal rule, I suppose it's not in your syllabus, okay, but um, I will just okay, quickly go, th uh, go through it because, be okay, because if you didn't learn this one, you go to the Simpson, um, I think there's no, you cannot see the connections there. So let's say uh, the red curve here is a y equal to fx, huh? your y equal to fx. We may approximate okay, the area below the curve y equal to fx okay, using the only one okay, uh, area, I mean one segment of trapezoid. So the blue color, when you connect, okay, when this is x naught, okay, or you can say this is a, the a equal to x naught, the b equal to x1. Hence, okay, this crest, okay, for x equal to x naught, so this y value is f x naught. This y value is a f x one. The a okay, the <clears throat> meaning of integration, as you okay, know, is actually represent the area. 
So mean the integral of fx dx from a to b, a to b represent the area, and you can estimate this area using one segment of trapezoid. One segment of trapezoid. Okay, and then you use okay the uh the formula to of trapezoid, okay. I um, mean formula to find the area of the trapezoid. Okay, I'm not sure whether you still can remember remember how to find the area of this trapezoid. Okay, from here you have the shorter length is actually where the length here is actually fx naught the and then okay the longer length okay the mean and the length here is actually f x one uh, here. I mean this length is the given by the f x naught. Okay, and then from x naught to b or x naught to x one is what we indicate by h, uh, where your h is actually in this case we have one segment only. H is actually x one minus x naught. Then to find the area of the trapezoid, area of the trapezoid, okay, if you still can, okay, recall back how to find the area of the trapezoid, it's actually the height. Okay, you have to turn it, okay, the vertical of this trapezoid is the H here, and then, okay, the area for trapezoid is actually H over 2, and then you sum out the shorter length here, which is Fx naught plus Fx1. That's why, okay, if you estimate the integral, integral fx dx using one segment of trapezoid will be given by h over 2, okay, fx naught plus fx1. Okay, before I proceed, okay, do you have any questions or not? This one. Up to now, okay, means you must understand, okay, the integration represents the simple okay, application, which is area. And then now we estimate the area using one segment of trapezoid. I mean bounded by this okay, blue color and this two I mean all here. Okay, all this blue color. So of course, okay, if we use one segment of trapezoid, you can see we have a quite big error because okay, let's say this part. Nah. Okay, this part is actually this part. Nah actually should be included okay because it's okay uh still the area below the curve y equal to fx but it's not included okay and suppose okay this area mean, mean this area should be included but this area should, should not be included but is okay included mean this one should include huh? this one should exclude but you use okay, the area of trapezoid, the area should exclude you, include. Should include, we exclude it. That's why if you okay, estimate the area using one segment of trapezoid, okay, the error is quite big. In this area. Okay, that's why okay, for a better approximation, okay, the area between okay, x equal to a up to x equal to b, I mean if once okay, if you estimate using one area only, let's say this area is denoted as a a1. A1 I mean this is using one segment of the trapezoid. And uh just now the h, huh? h is actually your b minus a divide 2 or your x1 minus x0 divided by 2. Then fa plus fb. Okay, this is only one segment of trapezoid. And then for a better approximation, okay, we can divide it into more segments. Hence, okay, we will be more accurate. If we okay, divide the area just now into more segments, okay, like here, I mean the same okay, curve y equal to fx, if only one segment, we have a... Okay, quite big error and then we can increase the number of segment increase the number of segment let's say up to n segment okay and then okay a is actually equal to the x node and then x1 x2 up to xn is equal to b is actually the upper limit uh, 
A is the lower limit, A equal to X node, X1, X2, up to Xn. Where the H, okay, for H is the increment, is actually, you can have only, okay, Xi plus 1 minus Xi. Uh, divide by, okay, we have actually the, um, uh, this is, uh, this is correct. Okay, xi plus 1 minus xi will get the h, okay, or, okay, or more general is actually the h, oh. okay, h, okay, if you take b minus a divide n. Because from the equation, we only know, okay, a up to b, yeah? upper limit, up, uh, lower limit up to Okay, up to the upper limit. If you want to, and if you know the number of segment, then you can know the H. Okay, or the N is actually B minus A divide H. Mean okay, A and B is okay is known, and then if given number of segment N, then you can know the H. Okay, if given the H, then you can know number of segment. Okay, this one is also another way to find the H. Okay. I mean, you take xi plus 1 minus xi, this is a h. Okay, but for numerical integral, okay, from the equation, you know the a, b. And then they must give you either, okay, you have the n or, okay, number of segment n or, okay, uh, the step side h. Then you can calculate either one. If given n, then you can calculate h. If given h, then you can calculate n. Okay, so just now is actually that formula, H over 2 F naught plus F1, this is only one segment. I mean, if you integrate the whole integral, let's say the A is equal to X naught, B equal to X1, Fx, uh, this one missing dx, uh, Fx, dx, if only using one segment uh, from X naught up to X1, okay, you have the H over 2 F naught plus F1. Okay, this one using the area of trapezoid. The area of trapezoid, then you can get the okay, formula is H over 2, F0 plus F1. And then, okay, if you have okay, more segment, because one segment will introduce quite big error. So to reduce the, er the error, we can increase the number of segment from A1, A2, okay, up to AN. Hence, okay, the integral of Fx dx from X0 to Xn, can be approximated using A1 plus A2 plus up to AN. And then you apply each segment using this okay, uh, using this basic formula. I mean from X0 to X1, Fx dx will be H over 2, F0 plus F1. So if X1 to X2, hence, okay, okay, you just chain here. I mean H over 2, so x1 to x2, here will be f1 plus f2. Up to the last segment will be fn minus 1 plus fn. Okay, because here, yeah, if you look at the, the area here, the figure here, mean you, okay, you estimate each segment using trapezoid formula. Okay, where this is a h. Eh? I mean the horizontal here is a h over 2. And then you have the f0 plus f1. You go to the second, okay, second segment. Okay, second segment still h over 2, and then you F1 plus F2. The last segment, because each one, this one is H. Huh? H is here. In the height here, this is a shorter length, this is a longer length. Okay, shorter length, longer length. So you apply it, that's why we have this, is what we call composite trapezoidal rule. You notice, okay, each term you have the H over 2, and then this is a F naught, okay, F naught only one time, okay, Fn one time. The other intermediate F will be two times. That's why the formula H over 2, F naught plus Fn plus two times summation of Fi, where the I from 1 up to N minus 1. Because here, yeah, F naught, Fn at the, okay, outer, I mean, starting, ending F, huh? You calculate one time. F1, you involve it when you calculate area of A1. Okay, F1 also you involve it when you calculate of A2. That's why all the intermediate F, you have two times. 
Okay, before I proceed, okay, and any questions? No, doctor. I understand. Okay, and example, okay, estimate, uh, approximate or estimate is the same meaning. Integrate exponent negative x squared dx from point two to one by trapezoidal rule with n equal to a. So if given n, then you have to find the h. H is b minus a divided by n. Okay, b is upper limit one. So minus the lower limit one minus point two. You have point eight divided by eight. Okay, which is zero point one. So you get the h. Okay, after that, okay. We are going to tabulate this fx equal to exponent negative x squared using the table, okay, menu or mode in your calculator, okay, where the starting value is a, okay, lower limit, ending value is upper limit, h is, is actually the step sign. And then we apply it to the trapezoidal rule formula. When you use, okay, go to the, okay, find the table menu. Okay, unfortunately, okay, MS calculator, you don't have table. Then you have to calculate one by one. Okay, the functions is exponent, negative of x uh, squared. Exponent negative x squared. Okay, I have this calculator, you can have more than one function. I just need one function. And then I don't want to turn on and off. Okay, you can actually go to the shift set up there to turn off but i'm lazy i just let the second function zero okay start is the lower limit 0.2 okay ending is the upper limit which is one step is actually the h huh? so 0.1 so you get okay the table they will help you to tabulate from 0.2 with increment 0.1. So mean 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 0.
and you can check with the calculator okay for the exact solution okay integrate integrate um exponent negative alpha x squared from point two to one so you get point five four nine five Okay, and just now, um, yo, miss. Just now is you this one. Calculate, calculate in one step. Point one divide by two. Okay, one point three two eight seven plus two times summation of sum two four point eight two seven three. 0 0.5492. So if you want to calculate the absolute okay, the absolute error, let's say magnitude of okay error, so it will be magnitude 0 0.5492 minus 0 0.5495. So take the magnitude, so 0 0.0003. So this is the er absolute error. Uh, trapezoidal rule actually is not in the syllabus, but um, better you understand this one before we proceed to the Simpson one third because there is a continuity okay, from trapezoidal Simpson one third, Simpson three over eight. So, do you have any question before I proceed to the okay, the before I proceed to the Simpson one third? Okay, 